everybody. Today I'm going to help walk you through how you apply for your electronic travel authorization to visit Kenya. In the past, you had to apply for a visa, which had a cost to it. Now, it's a little confusing because they will give you what they say is a free visa on arrival, but instead, you will also have to apply for your ETA um, electronically before arrival. Now, if for some reason there's a delay in processing this, uh, there are times when they will let you get this on arrival, but I would recommend doing it ahead of time. Um, you can't do it until you're within three months of the date of travel. So if your travel is six months from now and you try to apply, it won't let you when you fill out the dates. So uh, just know that. The other thing is, before you even start this, I would have your... Uh, a digital copy of your flight plans and the hotel reservations, which we will provide you, plus a photo of your passport and then a photo of your face before even trying to start because it will make it go quicker. So anyway, you'll go to the website, you'll click apply now, tourists and visas, um, and it tells you who does and doesn't need to get it. If you're from the U.S., you're generally going to need it. Press continue, uh, you know, read all of the things they ask you to read, continue, um, if you're doing an individual, just start off with choosing where you're from and your country of residence. Continue. Upload the passport page. Now, again, I've got my uh, passport already here ready to go, so you'll see it'll upload. And this is a little less painful than some um, visa sites. If you've done India, you'll see that they tend to be really picky about uh, the size of the passport, all that. Anyway, uh, this one is, is more straightforward. So you're going to put that in. Now you can take a photo from the computer or you can upload. Um, I, um, you know, they do want you to have a plain background, um, not wearing glasses, not wearing a hat, things like that. So they may have you uh, redo it. So I'm just going to make up a number um, and an email. Um, making up an address, um, you'll put in your occupation, an emergency contact, press continue, I don't like that one, okay, um, and then your reason for travel is tourism because you are not going to get paid work in Kenya where you're going to need to report taxes. That's why this is here. So you're putting tourism. You'll put your arrival date um, and your flight information. So if you're going to be flying into Nairobi, most likely, and then we'll be taking you to Kasumu, but you may be flying into Kasumu. But either way, so um, in this case... Uh, let's say I'm going British Airways, it'll already often know the flight. If you're coming in on a certain day on British Airways, it'll often pre-populate this for you because it knows what they um, what flights are coming in that day. So uh, the origin for my trip, I will have started that day in the United States. Um, let's say I'm departing on April 30th by air. I'll be going from Nairobi on British Airways. So look, it'll pre-populate and I uh, plan, intend to come back to the United States. Um, you'll put in here whatever hotel that we uh, will be letting you know, and you'll put in the dates that you plan on being there as well. Now, I, it doesn't hurt to put it a day earlier than you plan to arrive and a day later. You just want to make sure that your entire travel is incorporated in this. And if you end up needing to stay later, the good news is when they give you this ETA form, it will be good for 90 days from the date it was issued. So today is April 12th. That means if they issue it to me, they're likely to get back to me on Monday. It'll be good for Monday for 90 days. I'll be able to enter any time from when it's issued up until 90 days from the date of that issue. Uh, is it financed by a third party? Probably not. Um, you're probably paying for this program yourself. You'll put in your country of birth, your nationality at birth. Um, you know, answer these questions about whether you've been denied entry, whether you're married, if you've been to Kenya before, um, and if you're going to be bringing more than $5,000. It, it's okay if you are, you just need to declare it. Most people, you won't need that. Here's where you'll upload the accommodation booking confirmations that we will be giving you. Um, an important note on that is um, the... Uh, even if you're staying at several different accommodations, don't worry about that. Really, they just want at least one place where they know you're going to be. 
and uh, it's an editable file that we send you so that if you need to change the dates because you think you're going to come earlier, stay later, just make those changes. It's no big deal. Um, here is where you upload your flight confirmation information. You wait a few seconds, and then once, um, once it's got a green check, it means it's been uploaded. So you were almost done. The next step, um, you know, you point out whether or not you're the applicant, continue. And then uh, you'll want to do standard processing. It usually takes up to three days. Um, it's 32.50. Press continue. Now I'm not going to pay, uh, but this is where you would enter this information. So, and then you're done. Then you will receive um, a tracking number. I'm going to close this out. You'll receive a tracking number so that you can come back to check and see if your visa is ready. You're gonna to need to print that out and bring that with you when you enter the country. There you go, that's it.